to make some kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean dish. It's full of probiotics, full of nutrients. It's made with cabbage and radishes, carrots. In here we have some ginger and garlic. And we also are gonna use some scallions. I put a little bit of the green parts, but mostly the white. You will also need some organic white miso. You can find this at Walmart. Uh, I got mine at the Stockpot in Johnson City. A lot of the things, if they're sold out at Walmart, you can get it at the Stockpot. Uh, you will also need some fish sauce. Try to get the ones that don't have preservatives in them. And you will also need a little bit of apple juice. Try to get the apple juice that doesn't have preservatives or anything as well because what you don't want to do is kill the good bacteria that will be in your kimchi because the whole point of this is to get a lot of probiotics and nutrients that will boost your immune system. You also will need some hot pepper powder. Uh, the best kind is the Korean pepper powder. If you can't find it, you can uh, substitute paprika. Don't substitute cayenne. Cayenne is a very hot pepper. Uh, but ground red pepper flakes, you can put them in a little mixer and, and blend them down to a fine dust if you can't find this. I found this at Stockpot. Sometimes Sam's carries it as well. You will also need either some Himalayan sea salt or some iodized sea salt. This is just evaporated seawater. That way it retains all the minerals. You don't want to use pickling salt because it has an anti-caking ingredient added to it and it will mess up your kimchi. So the first thing you're going to do when you get your Napa cabbages, you can see I, I cut off the top of these. I'm going to feed these to my, to my roosters that's outside. Um, but you want to cut off the top and then you want to just cut, cut it into pieces. Sometimes I'll do long ones, but for uh, the kimchi that I'm doing today with the little tiny bits of carrots and radishes, I did it a more fine cut. So the first thing you want to do is for this amount, these were three cabbages. So uh, with the ingredients that I'm telling you about, if you're just going to do one cabbage, you're going to decrease everything by thirds. So instead of a full cup of salt, you would just use a third of a cup of salt if you're going to use one head of cabbage. And one head of cabbage weighs about four pounds. So you're going to sprinkle your salt all over your cabbage is the first step. And what this is going to do, it's going to make a brine. The brine is what's going to start the fermentation process once we add everything else. This has a little bit of pink salt in it too. So once you dump that salt on there, make sure your hands are clean of course, but you're just going to kind of work the salt through the cabbage. So just work it through and give it a little squeeze. Once you squeeze it, you'll feel the, the liquid that's in the cabbage will start kind of leaching out of there. And you want to make sure you get all the way to the bottom and mix that salt. This is also the way you make sauerkraut. You know, you start with regular cabbage and shred it up and put a little salt on it and it'll make a brine. But you can see, you know, when you squeeze it, you can see that liquid already starting to come out of it. So next, I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. On here, you can see I, I ground these, I julienne them with a little tiny shredding julienne blade on my, on my um, food processor. And so then next, what you want to do is just sprinkle those over the cabbage as well. And then beneath those, I had some radishes. Radishes are also in that sulforaphane family, the cruciferous. Um, that I told you about before. Sulforaphane is really, really good for you. It can reverse heart disease, hypertension, all that stuff. So the more cruciferous vegetables you eat, the better. So radishes are a really easy one, and I like the taste of the radishes in the kimchi. So dumped the carrots on there and the radishes, and now we're just gonna kind of mix those through with the cabbage as well. it all the way to the bottom. Okay. Then next, we're going to dump our green onions in there, the scallions. 
And you want to just kind of mix those through too. It's kind of a messy job, but it's also kind of fun. Okay, so just mixing those through in there. Now you can substitute the um, daikon radishes. They're a little harder to find. I think the red radishes give it a nice little little red color, although most of the color is going to be masked once we put that Korean pepper sauce on there. Okay, so next we're going to put the miso paste. I, as you can see, I've got the pieces of ginger in here, and I peeled it. Don't use powdered ginger, ginger use fresh ginger, and I used about six inches since um, since I used three heads of cabbage. So probably two or three would be the best if you're using one cabbage. Uh, but the more ginger, the better. I love ginger. And then you wanna use garlic cloves. You don't wanna overdo the garlic or you'll have dragon breath for weeks. And so for three heads of cabbage, I ended up putting four very large garlic cloves. So stick those in the bottom. And then next we're gonna add our miso. So we're gonna put one heaping tablespoon, put that in there. And what miso is, it's fermented rice and soybeans. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra just to make sure it ferments well enough. So I'm just gonna scoot that down in there too. Okay. And next comes the fish sauce. And we're just gonna put one tablespoon of it. Don't go crazy on the fish sauce. It doesn't really smell or taste fishy. I can't really describe what it smells or tastes like. It's kind of different. You can skip the fish sauce if you don't like it. Some people will put the little fermented shrimp in there, but I don't like anything out of a, a can and I couldn't find any without the BPA, so I skipped that. And so next, we're gonna put our apple juice. The apple juice just makes it easier to mix all this stuff up. And I got the unfiltered apple juice. So throw this on. I don't want to waste my ginger, so I'm going to go ahead and the part that flew out when I opened it, I'll stick that on there. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you can see what the paste looks like. So you're just going to kind of drip all this into there. It smells really good. You really do need to try to get every little bit of this because this is essentially the flavoring part of the kimchi. This is the, the mix that imparts all the flavor to it. So you want to spend a little extra time getting every little speck of that ginger and miso and garlic out of there. pepper so we you can see we've got the ginger and garlic and miso mix in there next the red pepper you're going to use for one head of cabbage you're going to use one cup of the red pepper powder uh, so I I've got about three cups left so I'm just going to sprinkle it in till it looks right it's going to be about three cups though but I like my kimchi really spicy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to massage it in and see what it looks like it smells really good, really gingery and garlicky. I could honestly eat this stuff raw just before it ferments because I love spicy stuff. Now, if you don't like spicy, I would recommend just using straight up paprika, you know, the powdered red paprika that you get from the store. But if you do like spicy, definitely get the Korean peppers. Okay. 
Okay. That doesn't look quite spicy enough to me, so I'm going to dump a little more on there. Peppers are really good for you too. As you know, anything red or orange brightly colored is full of antioxidants. And contrary to popular belief, pepper is not the source of reflux. Now it can cause you pain if you have it. The main sources of reflux are number one, dairy products, milk, cheese, yogurt. And the next one is meat products. Those are your reflux culprits. Vegetables and spicy foods are not to blame. So anyway, as you can see when I squeeze this, if you can zoom in, when you squeeze it, you can see all this liquid coming out. See all that? That is all brine that this is making from the massaging process. Okay, so the next step, once you get it all massaged and mixed, and it smells fantastic. You're gonna just rinse your hands off. I've got, I use uh, that stuff called star sands to disinfect everything. And I'll show you what it looks like a little later. But you do wanna make sure that your jar, I'm gonna put most of it in a crock uh, to submerge it since it's such a large amount. But for the purposes of this, I'm gonna show you if you just want to make one head and do it on top of your counter, this is the way you'll do it. So you have a sterilized jar, and so the first thing you're going to do is just stuff the kimchi in the jar. And what you want to do is really pack it in there tight, because what you're going to have to do is push it below the level of the brine. So when you get it in there, See all that liquid coming up? Okay, so next we're gonna grab another little handful. Stuff it down in there. And you can wipe the jar off on the outside once you're done. This is a messy process. Okay, so you gotta just push it below the level of the brine. So you can see we've done that. We've, we've got it below the level of the water. We're gonna give it one more little squish. And then I buy these things called pickle pebbles. You can get them on Amazon, but they're little glass circles with a little handle on top. And what this does is after you get your, your ingredients below the level of the brine, you put these in and give it a little shove and it keeps them down below there so nothing is sticking out so it can't grow mold. So let's my hands off again. So next, I'm just gonna wipe the edge of the rim and then these are also, um, these are called pickle, pickle poppers, or I can't remember, let me see if I can find the name for you, because you will definitely want to get some of these. Um, they're called fermentation airlock lids for wide mouth jars. They're by Silaware. They are fantastic. They basically look like top, the tops of baby bottles, but they've got a little opening for air. So you sit, stick these right on there, and then just use your mason jar lid, and just twist that around with these you do want to make sure even with the airlock lid and all that you do want to make sure you set it inside of a bowl because when it starts fermenting this thing is going to pop up like this and air is going to come out and some of the fluid is going to bubble out as well so put it in a bowl so that's all you do to make your kimchi and it will start fermenting you'll see it start bubbling and fizzing feel free to taste it every day one thing i do recommend is taking the lid off at least once a day rinse off your pickle pebble and then push the contents back under because sometimes as it builds up pressure, some of the cabbage will come on top of it. So just push it back down, uh, put your pickle pebble back on, screw everything back on, put it in your bowl, and you can actually let it keep fermenting as long as you want. It needs to stay in a cool place. I wouldn't put it anywhere hot like right beside your oven or anything like that. Um, and typically it does better in a dim environment. So. Well, after about a week or so, just taste it. It'll get more and more sour as the probiotics increase from the fermentation. So once it's as sour as you like it, then you can take this top off and just put, um, I don't like the metal lids because they can rust, so then you just get these plastic lids and screw on. 
uh, and it'll keep in your refrigerator endlessly. Be sure to take the lid off occasionally just in case it continues to ferment because you don't want an explosion in your refrigerator. And so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer all of this into my crock. And, but So you can do it either way. In the crock, I just stuff everything in there and then this goes in sideways and then it weights down the cabbage and then I put that lid on and it's got this handy little tunnel around it, you know, where any fluid that bubbles out will go into the little tunnel and catch it like a little moat. So that is it. Hope you enjoy it.